Hey guys, this is a Vista tutorial on two things how to involving boot and shutdown. Basically, how to speed up shutdown time and startup time. Now, you know, uh, so you know if you know it or not, whether you know it's up to you if you want to watch or not. You, you may already have this, but if not, you know it's really really useful tricks. And if you you know you never know if you already have it, you may not know. I'm gonna mention two things on the startup on um, boot boot there's only really one thing that this boot I've done a video on it a long time ago but I didn't know it was compatible with Vista and XP so I'm gonna have to you know I mean I did it for an XP tutorial but I found out it is custom uh, it is a uh, what do you call it how should I say it's a uh, compatible I should say I guess uh, with the uh, Vista as well so it works on Vista too it's a tweak pretty much so anyways first off you're gonna want to go to your start or your start button or your org and then you're gonna want to type in MS you can search this, you don't need to run it. MS config. That's MS config for MS configure. Now you just go click the exe file. Wait for that to open. Uh, I have UAC turned on, so you just got to wait for this. Thing. Anyways, now you wait for it to come up. Should come up any second now. Just wait on for a second here. Did I even open it? Oh, maybe I didn't hit yes. Hang on, guys. Oh no, there you go, there you go. Okay. Now you're gonna have uh, five tabs here: general, boot, services, startup, tools. First off, there's uh, this is how you clean up on. I mean, uh, on timeout, it takes to uh, what do you call that? Boot. Uh, you know, Microsoft Windows Vista. So this is uh, I believe this is only to the startup screen. I'm not sure if it's to the uh, what do you call that? To the actual you know desktop. It is only I think to the login screen. But that's still pretty fast because after that. But yeah, uh, by default, I believe this is set to 20 seconds. Yeah, so it's a timeout to take when it. I think this is for the. Yeah, this is when it. Uh, as I should when it uh, starts up. So you're gonna wanna uh, change this to anywhere from five to three. I would recommend anywhere around there. Whatever works for your computer, three just happens to work for mine. So that's a good way to. Uh, what do you call it? Increase sh uh, startup time. Another way is to go to services and you know really unchecking the services you don't need now I would recommend you ch make sure you know what services you don't need don't un go and checking you know stuff you don't know about and, you know if there's rent, uh, obvious stuff like tablet and you don't have a tablet PC then you know uncheck that of course and there's stuff like you know that like MSN or some MSN services you don't want them then you can turn that off now another way is if you go to startup and all the stuff you see at startup you can disable some of these too like I don't want that running I don't want that running and I don't want that running for example and I hit apply and you should get a message and wait in wait in oh okay oh now, now you hit okay now I'm just gonna hit exit without restart Hang on. You know, uh, and after that, you should restart for you, but I'm not going to restart because I'm in the tutorial. But, uh, okay, so that's a great way. Those are three great ways to speed up your boot time. Like I said, the wait, the wait, to, uh, the wait start or whatever it was to be timed in the beginning is, I believe, only up to the login screen. The other ones will just increase boot up to the desktop because, uh, you know, because you're disabling services and programs that boot up. Now, next, I'm going to want you to search up reg edit. Reg E D. Reg E D I T. Sorry about that. Reg edit. And then you're going to want to go to continue if I have UAC. UAC. And then I believe I have it open. Yeah, I do. Okay. So here's the. You know, don't get freaked out. This is really easy. First, you just want to go to H key local machine. And you go to system. And then the system's going to open up these things right here and then go to you can have folders go to control and then don't cl click anything from there just stay in the control folder and go to wait kill services now you have I think by default I, know, I don't I think 20,000 or yeah so uh, anywhere from 10 to 5 would work Th anything below 5 I think is doesn't really make a difference so I would say 15 to 5 should make a great difference now this just makes the wait to kill services timeout. Remember how I showed? You? I believe that means you know how you have the services in your MS config, you know that are all running. Now by default, it's timing on how long it should take to kill them, like like you know like 
you know, as it not kill, but as in like stop them, um, boot down, you know, and shut down when you're shutting down. It's waiting for the time to kill them, but if it has a shorter time, it can kill them right off, but right off the bat. Now, some people, I guess, it has that by default, the operating system, because you know you may want the system, uh, the s services still running, but if you don't really need them running, if you're like on the go for a shutdown, then really you can just shut down, it turns off, and you're you're good to go. So those are two ways, or actually three ways, uh, for the startup, and one main way for the shutdown. So uh, be sure to check those out and uh, apply them and, you know, leave feedback, guys, on how it turned out. Anyways, guys, uh, this is uh, Laker Coolman or some enemies. Kid Drew, like I always say, Tech World Productions, Vista Tip. You know, I hope you enjoyed. Anyways, guys, give me feedback. And if you're having trouble, please leave me a question. Either you can email me at kidgurucenter at gmail.com or kidgurucenter at yahoo.com. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.